What is going on everybody? Today we are checking out the Echo Power test, test fridge, the world's first <laughs> fridge freezer thingy designed specifically for Tesla vehicles. You can get this for the Model 3, the Model Y, or the Model X, and it plugs into your Tesla and can be powered to keep all your food cool without any ice while you're road tripping or just hanging out, tailgating, so you just wanna sit here and hang out and get a drink out of here. This will keep it all cool. Now, full disclaimer, Echo Power did send this out to me for free to share with you, but they did not see this video before you. I didn't get approval to post it. They didn't tell me what to say. This is just my honest review of this freezer. And the reason I accepted this review is because if you've seen our road trip videos, which I have one coming out really soon, so make sure you check that out. We actually use a powered cooler kind of like this one already. Now it's much smaller. It's not as nice as this one and it can't get as cold as this one, but it's a product that I've used for a few years now and I absolutely love to have on road trips so I can bring with me and the family so we can have fruit and vegetables and water and cold drinks and cheese and milk and all that stuff with us at all times so then we can not go out to eat as often if we have extra food we can bring it with us it's just such a nice thing to have so i was really excited to see one that is specifically designed like this one to fit in the sub trunk of the 3y or x now for the model 3 you get 20 liters the model y you get 35 liters and the model x you get 36 liters of storage now what i love about these is you don't need ice and so that's a lot cleaner to use on the model x X and the Model Y, you actually have a cigarette lighter outlet thingy back here that you can just plug directly into. For the Model 3, you'll need an extender that will go up to the one in the front. Uh, but as you can see here, this thing is really nicely integrated. Here, let me take you off here real quick. So this is what the cooler looks like when it's in the sub trunk. And you can hear a slight whir. Let me put my microphone down there. But as you, if you heard that, put this down, you have these little feet they give you so that it has a little uh, air to breathe, a little room to breathe. When you put this down, that word is like basically gone now, especially if you're going to be sitting in the front, you're not going to hear that at all. So that's really nice. You can leave this plugged in. This is what we do um, with our current one. Leave this plugged in while you're driving, while the car is parked, anything like that. And it will keep your stuff cool the whole time. So when you move your sub trunk out of the way, oh no, a bee, get away from me. You can then open this. It's a really nice thick lid. It is spring loaded right here. This feels really good when you pick this up. And I just put some drinks in here. I just grabbed some stuff out of the fridge and I honestly was like, yeah, this is probably plenty. Uh, I could put like triple what I put in here. And this thing is just massive. Now, this side is where all the refrigeration happens. This is where the, um, the vent is to let uh, bring in air and, and let out the hot air as it's cooling things off. And I have it set right now. You can set it. You can have it in Fahrenheit or uh, Celsius. I have it set right now, if I go to settings, to 33 degrees, just because I have some drinks in there. And it's cooling off. So I put cold drinks in there. That's usually what you want to do with these kind of things is have your stuff already cold, if you can. Wow, the sides of this thing are like, they feel frozen. That's crazy. Um, and then put your cold stuff in there. It just helps it work. Now, it does have a light in here, which is awesome. I don't need it right now. But if you're doing this at night, which again, while road tripping is very common for us, you can see what you're doing, which is great. Imagine just like tailgating, you would just have your trunk open just like this and you could just be hanging out, just sit on the tailgate like this and like, want to grab a drink? It's right here. You just grab whatever you want. Um, but for me, it's more like for road tripping. And when we, you know, do those trips, we love to take this with us. I am also digging the handles they put on here. The one I have doesn't have really nice handles like this. So you can easily pick this up out of here and bring it with you if you need to. It was so easy to move around to get in here. Now I will give you a couple complaints right off the bat. Uh, number one for me is this area is blank along with the top. It would be nice if this was indented a little bit to have some cup holders or even some grip just so you could use it again like if you're tailgating and have something sitting there, it won't move around as much. Not that big of a deal in my opinion, but I think a lot of people would like that and like, why not? Second, now this product is on Kickstarter. Now they already met their goal long ago and this is an established company. They've been making these, these types of products for like 10 years or something now. So I'm not too worried about that, although I'm not a big fan of Kickstarter. Um, but just so you know, the plug over there, this is all that comes with it, is the lighter plug. And the reason I mentioned Kickstarter is maybe the final product will have something, but I would really appreciate if you could plug this directly into the wall, because when we do road trip with our smaller one, we actually take it with us out of the car and bring it into the hotel or wherever we are. And then we can plug it into the wall there and keep all our stuff with us. Or even when we have like people over, guests, and we wanna have a cooler outside, I don't even use a normal cooler. I actually just use one of these types of units and plug it into the wall and have it full of drinks. And it's just so much more convenient than having to go buy ice and you know, all of that. So I wish it came with a wall plug so I could use it more, but that's what I got as of now, how this was delivered to me. 
So they advertise a perfect fit in the sub trunk. And of course I can't vouch for the Model 3 or the Model X, I don't have those models. But for the Model Y, that is so true. You cannot have anything else in here. I had one of the sub trunk kind of from Tasmania and the little like pads you have under there just to kind of keep it safe. I couldn't even have that in there, I had to take that out. This thing takes up 100% of the space. So it's really space efficient. And again, so while you're going for road trips, you can pack everything else on top of it and it's sitting right there out of the way for you, which is great. Now, another feature of this one that's better than my old one that I have, this can actually freeze things. It goes down to negative four Fahrenheit. And so you can have frozen food in here. I don't normally do that on a road trip, but again, I haven't had a product like this. I've only had the cooler that goes down to, I think it went down to almost freezing. Um, so that's another great option to have. You can have it have frozen foods in there for you. So they do have early bird special pricing on the website, of course, depending on which one you're getting. It looks like as of now, when I'm recording this, the Model 3, the cheapest option is $369. Model Y is $439 and Model X is $499. And then there will, those prices will be going up as more people sign up for the Kickstarter. So if you want, make sure you check out the page, use my link below. I think it's a referral link. And uh, then you will get those early bird prices before it's out. Now again, the integration here is definitely my favorite part. I love this type of product, but having it so perfectly integrated here is what's really nice. And so when you have a fridge like this, you need good ventilation. So I should probably move these over a little bit. There we go. And <laughs> what they've done here is they've designed this thing, I mean, so perfectly. Like look at this gap for the ventilation right here. And then they give you these pads that you stick on here and you can then put the sub trunk down. I didn't put one yet. I have one more that uh, I didn't put on yet. And once you put, I keep calling this the sub trunk, but this is like the cover for the sub trunk. Once you put this down, there is still a gap here. You can see I can reach my hand, on, my hand under there so that this thing, yes, yeah, so I need to move these, but of course I'm not going on a road trip right now. Um, and there's a gap here so air can get out and the thing can ventilate and keep everything cold for you. And then when you look over here, this is where it's plugged in. The cable comes from the right side and I routed it around the back. Let me see, I don't know if you can see it. I mean, now it's down in there. It's just so perfectly like designed for this little space. Um, I put the excess cable over there on the side, which you can see, and then it just goes boop right there. And then I can take this cover on and off as I please. And boom, now I can use this as storage. I mean, I can sit on here, I can do, you know, everything. So I'm sitting on this right now, no problems. And you have all of your trunk space still available to you. This stays plugged in. If you're done with it and you want to turn it off, it does have a power button or you can just unhook it here and set that right there. And it's like ready for you whenever you want. Now, one thing I personally have been very curious about with these types of units, and I've never tested it, but I get asked it a lot, is how much energy do they use? And I didn't see anything initially uh, looking at their Kickstarter page on the wattage or whatever, but I think real world testing is more fun anyway, so let's do it. So right now my Model Y, I'm gonna take a screenshot, is at 157 miles of range. We're going with miles, not percent, because it's a little more granular. We'll be able to see a little bit better how it's changing. And I'm gonna unplug my car here. So my car is unplugged, we're at 157 miles of range, and this cooler is on. It's set to, like I said, let's see again, 33 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's currently at 46 degrees Fahrenheit. So it has some cooling off to do, it has some hard work to do in the next hour. We're gonna give it one hour. It's literally 12.01, that's interesting. Uh, so at 1.01 or so, I'll come back out here, I'll see how many miles of range I have left. I'm just gonna leave this open, my climate, is not on, nothing else in the car is running, but I'm leaving the trunk open so that the car stays awake. You could use camp mode too and just turn the climate off. There's other ways to do that, but I'm gonna leave the trunk open and that's kind of like you're tailgating or something and just leaving it on. I want this thing to run. It's the only thing running in the car, so we'll see the exact uh, range hit that you're gonna get from running this for one hour. I don't expect it to be very much. I also have it, just so you know, it has different settings on, um, it has an eco mode and it has like which voltage you want it to use and everything. I set it to the highest stuff. So it's not on eco mode, it's using the highest voltage possible. Um, and I, I crank the temperature down. So it's, this is like worst case scenario. It has to work really hard to get cold and stay cold. It's also not full. If you had it full of cold things, that would help as well. Um, it's like not even half full. So I kind of made it a worst case scenario to see how much range this thing could take from you when you're on a road trip. Again, we've done this before with, with our smaller one and we, I don't know, we don't notice, but let's try it out with this one and see how it does. All right, so it came out after an hour and it was still at 157 miles of range. It hadn't lost anything. So I changed the temperature down to negative four Fahrenheit. It is currently at 28 Fahrenheit. So it's still working hard. I hear it whirring away, uh, lowering its temperature. And I left this up. I actually meant to close that, but whatever. Uh, when I came out at the hour mark and we've lost one mile of range in it's about an hour and a half, probably closer to two hours. But let's say an hour and a half 
we lost one mile of range. So every three hours, you'll lose two miles of your range, which is, you know, a tiny fraction of a percent. It's like a third of a percent of your battery. So I think on a road trip, you're not gonna notice. And I love these things. I'm glad I did this test because it's always a question I get um, and we've never noticed. And that's why we've never noticed because it doesn't take much power. So if you've never tried something like this, highly recommended for me, Echo Power, link is below. And that is a, a referral link. So if you use my link, I will get some kickbacks on that. And I really appreciate that. And I think if you take road trips or spend a lot of time in your car and have food there, need food there, you will love this thing. It is a great idea. And from what I've experienced so far, this thing works awesome. It feels great. Uh, it's a really nice product. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, leave those down below and you will see me in the next video.